Hi everyone, this is Jennifer with Amelia Me Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to use one of my vinyl designer's new rhinestone designs in your Silhouette Studio software. My Vinyl Designer has a variety of rhinestone templates now available. Many of these were just released. Halloween, breast cancer awareness, military, school, sports. I love how you can quick reference the properties of each shape, the overall dimensions, size of the rhinestones, and how many you will need. I've selected this breast cancer ribbon butterfly to put on a shirt. Once you've purchased a design, you'll need to import the My Vinyl Designer file into your Silhouette Studio software and you will need the designer edition to import these files in. It's important that you do not resize the template. The rhinestone shapes are pre-sized to accommodate common rhinestone sizes. If you were to resize, the holes would not fit the rhinestones properly. Now I'm just going to adjust my page settings for an 8.5 by 11 sheet because my rhinestone template material is 8.5 by 11. Next, I need to go to my cut style windows. Because I bought this file outside of Silhouettes, I need to tell the software where to cut. So I've selected the shape, going to hit cut, and it's going to go ahead and highlight everything in red to show where it needs to cut. Now that we have that taken care of, we're ready to send it to our Silhouette for cutting. Now we want to be sure to have the correct cut settings. Be sure to select your media type as rhinestone template material. The Silhouette brand rhinestone template material is a black velvety material. I'm not sure if you can see some of that velvet. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my mat and then load it into my Cameo. I'm also going to adjust my blade to a 6 according to the rhinestone template material settings. Okay, so now that we are loaded, we are ready to cut. Just going to verify my media type settings here. It's going to double cut for me for the rhinestone template material. I've adjusted my blade to 6 and we're going to cut. Okay, so once it's done cutting, I'm going to unload the mat and peel the template material off of the mat. I have a few that poked all the way through, but that's okay, that happens. And I'm not sure if you can see all the little holes there for the rhinestones. Now we are ready to peel the template material off the backing so we can affix the template to a rhinestone backing board, which is like a thick poster board. Now when you peel this rhinestone template material, it's best to do it in one quick motion but with the pattern of this size you'll always have a few stragglers. So you can see it mostly all removed except for one little section here where it kind of just stuck. But no worries, I'm just going to use my handy dandy tweezers and remove these extras. Now once you have all the circles removed we are ready to apply it to the backing board. Be careful not to mess it up. Put it down quickly and then I'm just going to smooth it out. And we are ready to apply our rhinestones. I am going to use two colors for this design. Pink rhinestones for the main part of the ribbon. And clear for the butterfly wings. going to put in the clear ones on the wings first. I'm going to pour the rhinestones on. And I'm going to take this brush tool that comes in the Silhouette Rhinestone Starter Kit and brush in a gentle circular motion and this helps get the rhinestones in place. And I'm going to continue in a circular motion until all the holes are filled and then I'm going to brush away the excess rhinestones and you can see I have all the clear ones in place. Now I'm going to do the pink or the main part of the ribbon. Now all the rhinestones for this design are the same size but if two sizes were involved 
be sure to add the larger rhinestones first, otherwise the smaller stones will get in all of the holes. So now I have all my pink on here. I'm going to continue in a circular motion. Try to get all those pink filled in. But again, with a pattern of this size, it is inevitable to have a few stragglers. So no worries. I'm going to use my Silhouette Pick Me Up tool. I'm going to use the little sticky side and take out this little pointy side. And I'm just going to use these to help me fill in the extras. This takes a little bit to get them right side up and get them in the hole. And I'm just going to use this other end here just to fix a few that I kind of knocked a bit. Just make sure they're all in their hole securely. Good. Now that all of our rhinestones are in place, it's time to lift the design out of the template material. Using a sheet of the Silhouette Rhinestone Transfer Tape, I'm going to peel the tape off the backing and cover the design, sticky side down. And I'm going to be very careful not to move any of the rhinestones. I'm going to lay it on top and gently press it down. I'm just going to use my thumb here to just fix a few that kind of popped out. There we go. And then I'm pressing to make sure the rhinestones are on the sticky material. Okay, so now I have my t-shirt ready to get the design. I'm going to lift the transfer tape off the template. I always hold my breath for this part, making sure they all come up. Great. Now I'm going to carefully position it onto my t-shirt. careful and then try to make it straight as possible. Okay, now I'm going to gently press it down to smooth it out. We are ready to iron. Okay, I'm going to place a thin cloth over the design. Then I'm going to use a heated iron that's been on the wool setting, preheated on the wool setting, and I'm going to press down on it for 45 to 60 seconds in each spot and keep moving it around. So I'm going to remove the iron and the cloth and now the transfer tape. If there are any rhinestones that are still stuck to the transfer tape, I'm just going to put it back on and re-iron, but I think we are good. And there you have it, instant bling. I love how rhinestones can add a little something to almost anything. You can try it on shirts, tote bags, mini tote bags, cards, paper things, etc. I want to thank you for watching today. Again, this is Jennifer from Amelia Me Crafts. Come visit me. Thank you.